If an airplane goes down, it's the infamous black box that gives us information about the plane's speed and altitude before the crash. So how do you make something that can record all that information but still withstand impact 3,000 times the force of gravity and temperatures of up to 1,000 degrees Celsius? Well, the answer isn't this flimsy outer casing, but instead it's this framework, and especially the magazine held inside. This is made from steel, and you can see here the Delta Airlines logo. I bought this on eBay for about a hundred bucks. The magazine shows the key components that allow the black box to record information so consistently and durably. Inconel steel. This metallic foil records flight parameters. They're engraved or scratched onto the Inconel sheet. In fact, the real name for this device is a foil oscillographic recorder. Now, tucked away inside the black box, we see instruments that measure altitude and airspeed. They're right here. Two other instruments are buried in the black box. They measure magnetic heading and vertical acceleration. Now, if you look through the front, you can see that there's a small arm attached to each instrument. A very tough piece of metal on the tip cuts the gauge's readings into the roll of metal in the magazine. This system of gears moves the foil at six inches per hour, and a spool is 200 feet long, meaning it can record 400 hours of footage, as you can see here on this gauge. The key to making the black box work is the Inconel metal used in the magazine. Typically used in furnaces, it's resistant to corrosion and oxidation, and when it's heated high enough temperatures, it forms an oxide layer that protects the surface from further attack. Now, today's black boxes are typically solid state, and of course digital, but you know I still love these old flight data recorders. They show the ingenuity of the engineers in using Inconel steel in the magazine, one of the few substances that could do the job. I'm Bill Hammack, the Engineer Guy. Thank you.